Hi, I'm Silvia Spiva, Cisco Developer Community Manager. I'm here with a very special guest, Andra. Hi, Silvia. My name is Andra Elert. I'm working for Dimension Data. I'm the Digital Automation Practice Manager for the European region. Congratulations on being a DevNet creator. Thank you. Thanks for having me here. Absolutely. Now, your story with DevNet goes way back. Yeah, that's true. I've started with DevNet uh, four years ago, maybe. I've been uh, attend so I have attended the first DevNet Express event in Berlin. Um, very excited about it. It was one of the those events which is completely like mind blowing, right? You go out of there and you say, "Okay, the world is changing." Wow! So that was the first ever DevNet Express four years ago, but now you've hosted your own DevNet Express events. That is indeed true. Uh, so already last year, um, I had the idea why not having a DevNet Express event uh, with us, so at Dimension Data, for all our colleagues in professional services uh, departments, so they can learn new skills, but also have clients with us so they can see how actually the world will change. So we had last year the first uh, DevNet Express event organized by a partner, um, and it was a success. So this year we had again DevNet Express uh, collaborations. Some other colleagues um, have been uh, very busy in organizing it. And uh, we are planning indeed to have uh, more DevNet Express events uh, in also the other European countries. That's amazing. We love our partners and we love it when you take what you've learned from the DevNet team and teach others. What feedback do you get from the people who have been through this training? Um, they are all very happy to go through it. Uh, we are considering it as being part of the integration process, uh, for example, at Dimension Data. So when you start as a fresh graduate or as a young engineer, um, you, of course, you get uh, um, the resources on how to book your holidays and so on, but also part of the integration process is that you go through the um, uh, DevNet um, learning paths and later on, with the first occasion, you go to a DevNet Express event. So. Um, it has become lately as a little bit part of our culture. And also a lot of the senior engineers, they're also embracing it. So we have a lot of uh, colleagues from the um, um, senior consultants or senior engineers who are participating to the events and also using the, the DevNet resources. That is fantastic that so many people have been to so many events in person. What resources do you use when you can't be at a DevNet event? Um, so we use a lot of the um, uh, DevNet sandbox. So this is uh, one of the um, resources that we use probably the most. We are also using it into our POC, so in our proof of concepts. Uh, we use a lot the learning labs. Um, we use the training material, which is there on uh, DevNet. We use the code exchange uh, to see to see what's going on there. And we also use, of course, the I would call it a re nah, we can't call it a resource, but it's somehow a very important part of the DevNet is the community itself. So we use a lot the context that we can get through the um, um, through DevNet and the people we can get in touch with. Wow, wow! I am not at all surprised that you are a DevNet creator. Congratulations again, and thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Sylvia.